Everyone, welcome to your virtual lunch break. Please comment in the box, tell me you're here. Thank you all for joining me on this beautiful day. If you're like me, you might be gearing up for a big lunch, which is exactly why I wanted to discuss the topic of visibility today. Some of you, you might have noticed I'm kind of transitioning. So aside from being an online business manager, I was also focusing on being a launch strategist, and now I'm pivoting a little bit to be a visibility strategist. Hi, Sue. <laughs> and what this means is I'm still an OBM. I'm still an online business manager, but I'm also a consultant for people who may not want all hands on deck kind of help. You know, you might want uh, guidance and strategic planning rather than the content creation piece. So I want to help my clients build an unmistakable online presence, master their consistency, and gain massive visibility so they can turn their followers into sales and become leaders in their industry. So if you're looking for hands-on or hands-off help in your business, I encourage you to speak with me. Let's see how we can partner together to build you that visibility and consistency that you've been searching for. And with that being said, let's get to it and discuss visibility and why it's important when you launch. So if you're like me, whether this is your first launch, second, third, fourth, it really doesn't matter. You obviously know visibility is a huge deal. So visibility is important so you know you have an audience who's ready to buy what you have to sell before you spend all that time creating it. So you don't have to worry about where your next sale is coming from because you've really built a community of raving fans who can't wait to buy what you put out. And how do you go about gaining this visibility before your launch? Hi, Amy. Visibility is everything when you are trying to build your business. And visibility earns you traffic, it gets you exposure, and most importantly, it helps you build a reputation around your brand. So the number one shortcut to building your brand visibility before your launch is, drum roll, creating content. So content is a huge part of any business and you need to make it compelling and consistent for your brand. You can focus on creating informative posts based on your experiences. This makes your content way more relatable to your ideal client and that's what you really want. You can start by asking questions that might relate to who you're speaking to in order to grab your attention. Then you can dive into talking about your experiences, relating it back to your expertise and your business. And one of my biggest things is always end whatever you're writing with a call to action. You always want to be saying, um, you know, book a call with me, or visit my website, visit my latest blog post, or you can, you don't even have to, you know, have an offer for them to buy, purchase, click on. You can even just say comment below and ask a question or some, something like that. So once all of that is said and done, once you create your content, where should your content be distributed? So here is when the possibilities are endless. It could be blog posts, emails, social media posts, live streams like this one, you name it. Distributing your content on different platforms like these will land you views and help you connect with your potential clients. And here's how you can begin doing it. And by the way, if anyone has any questions, you know, feel free to post something in the comment box because this is gonna be tons of value today. All right, so here's how you can go about this. You can create an informative blog post, share a teaser of your blog post to your email audience, and then create short social media posts based on your initial blog post. So I know this sounds like a lot, so I wanna kind of break this down. So you can start by focusing on social media. You can choose two to three platforms um, that you think your potential clients spend the most time on. Like for example, the um, platforms that I post to every single day is Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I also try and incorporate a little Twitter in there. I try to incorporate maybe some Pinterest. And also I've been getting into YouTube, like reusing these live streams um, and just posting them to YouTube. So um, as you're well aware, you know, posting consistently on Instagram or whatever platform you choose is super important. However, when it comes to Instagram, stories are actually a really great tool and even better than posting on your newsfeed because it connects with people on a more personal level. 
So you can use these stories daily and encourage people to engage with you by asking questions, offering CTAs like we had mentioned before. And also Instagram TV is really great. Um, I will probably reuse a live stream like this one like I have in the past um, and post it to Instagram TV. So not only are my live stream videos or whatever videos I'm creating, they're not just going on YouTube, but they are also going on Instagram TV. So I also want to point out, um, you know, Facebook is no longer for personal use. Like, to be honest, I haven't looked at my personal Facebook, like my news feed, in months. And I don't know if it's because I do this for a living, so it's not really, um, you know, it's not really valuable for me to be spending my time scrolling through my news feed. Um, so, yeah, I just want to say, you know, Facebook is more of a marketing tool, at least for me, and it can definitely be for you too. So, I use Facebook primarily to be um, networking in Facebook groups. There's so many Facebook groups out there for businesses and online entrepreneurs that it'll just blow your mind. No matter what your niche is, there's a Facebook group out there. And this is one of the things that I really push my clients to do is to start marketing in Facebook groups. Um, to be honest, like that's where all my leads come from. All of all my clients, except for my referrals, are from Facebook groups. I actually just had a woman book a call with me last night and um, she found me through a Facebook group. So it's really cool, you know, to be networking in groups like that and finding your ideal clients. It really is possible. And you don't want to just join and be posting, posting, posting. You want to actually, um, you know, not only be posting content, but engaging with people in the group too. And it's also really important to be getting these badges in groups. So. You know, you can even make this kind of like a game, like, ooh, the more I post and the more people that comment on mine and the more people that I comment on, I'll be getting these badges next to my name that says visual storyteller or rising star. And it just makes you look more um, engaging and, you know, that you've been there for a while. So anyways, so to sum this up, you know, I just want to bring us back, tie this all in. So the number one shortcut to building brand visibility before your launch is creating content. Without content, your brand is never going to be seen. You have to be constantly talking about informing your potential clients about your business in order to get any type of lead. So by writing blog posts, sending emails, posting consistently on social media, you will be well on your way to having a successful launch. And don't forget, if you have any questions, just post some comments in there or send me a PM. I'm more than happy to give you some really helpful tips. And if you're struggling to find the time to not only build your business from the ground up, but also write and share content on a consistent basis, um, this is exactly where I come in and this is exactly where I help my clients. So just remember, you know, if you're getting discouraged because maybe you are putting content out there or maybe you just don't have time to put the content out there. Just remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. The same holds true for your business. And with some patience and support, you really can set your business up for success long before your launch takes off. So as an OBM and visibility strategist, I help overwhelmed entrepreneurs to increase visibility, master content marketing strategies and streamline operations in their business so they can reach a wider audience, grow their impact, and fast track big results. So if you're struggling in the day-to-day -day of your business, let's chat. You know, book a free call with me, send me a PM. Either way, I'd really love to hear from you. So it looks like we have a comment from Amy. These are some great tips on what to do for a launch. What are your top three don'ts for free launch content creation? Ooh, that is a really good question. What are your top three don'ts? Don't be too salesy. Always, always, always provide value. You know, you don't want to be constantly selling, constantly having posts that have a call to action um, that says, you know, book a call with me or purchase my offer. You really want to be mixing it up and providing valuable posts that show why you are, why you're doing what you're doing, right? Like you don't want to 
just be all sales. So that's at least one tip. <laughs> and I hope that answers that. Um, but yeah, if anyone has any questions, let me know. And uh, you know, if you need any help in your business, feel free to book a call with me. All right, take care everyone. Have a great day.